All right, all right, all right. Welcome to another episode of the Brilliant Juice Podcast. We got a damn new studio today. We are here at iHeartRadio with the champs, the Mountain West champs, the Fresno State Bulldogs. The fellas are in the studio. Some guys got mics, some guys don't. All in all, boys, what's good? What's up? How you doing? What's going on? How you doing? How you doing? A lot, a lot of juice today. <laughs> uh, first off, we're going to go in a few stages, but let's go around the horn real quick. Of course, I'm your host, Frank Delana. Up next, Jordan Mims. That's running it. Back. That's your intro. Jordan Mims running back. Jordan Mims running back. A little blank. Uh, you got Crop here, number five receiver. Uh, call me J5. And Evan Williams. Call me E Dub, number 32, senior DB. It's a lot of nicknames. A lot. I like it. Fellas, you guys are all vets. You guys are all seniors. You got the ring. Let's talk about it real quick. Mims, you weren't you didn't get to play in that last championship game. You got to in this one. How was it? Uh it felt good knowing I can, you know, physically be a part, you know, of the championship um game. Um obviously I missed that I had surgery in, you know, twenty eighteen and you know, it was good to, you know, my brothers brought, you know, at home, but it felt, you know, surreal that you know, I was able to play against Boise again um, at their home. And, you know, I was able to, you know, capture the uh, the, the, the ring. So You secured the bag. Game. Yeah. Yeah. Two two teeters yeah. in the in the game itself. For sure. Teeters. Mm. Teeters. What a word. I was in the stands and I will let it, I will make it be known that the second one, the people around me, I was with uh, former alum Juju Hughes mm. and we were chirping a little bit and people with boys were getting a little 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 pissy about the whole deal. Sure. But Mims, do you think that second touchdown wasn't was, was not necessarily a nail in the coffin, but the momentum was really starting to explode at that point. Oh yeah, after we got you know the turnovers that we needed to, and you know for us to flip field and you know you know put up points, it you know it felt good. You you know kind of I guess we can say it did solidify you know the win. Crop J five. Hit that thousand yard mark finally this year. Easy, sure. easy. Raw. I said I tweeted about it. I gotta find pull up the receipts, but uh, you know this was a game for all y'all where the season did start out one and four. We'll get more into that, and nobody believed besides the people in that locker room. You guys know that. I had Tedford as a coach. He preaches that year in and year out. But crop being from the valley, having the journey you've had, the highs, the lows, all that. How did it feel to finally? could you know make that legacy have a stamp with this ring man uh it felt good um i think um i think leading up into it um you know having the interviews after practice um one of the main things you know the questions that they asked me uh was you know how do how do you want your legacy to be uh remembered um and i remember you know everything you know talking about you know certain heisman players um when we talk about lebron and we talk about you know michael jordan you want you talk about rings uh, so, you know, I feel like, you know, with us and this team, um, I think, you know, we we knew that, you know, what this team had to, to offer. Um, I know, you know, we we all knew that, you know, every team, every player on this team, you know, could go and start on, you know, any team in this country. So uh, I think that, you know, just being able to have this this ring um, and the name champ, you know, in front of our name. Yeah, the champ is here. Uh, yeah, I mean. A little disrespectful know. to everybody who doesn't refer to you as the champ, actually. Yeah. They got to oh, refer us to Come on now. as champs now. You know, that's, you know, we worked hard for it uh, since January. Um, every single player on this team, man, you know, blood, sweat, tears. Um, and, you know, just knowing that it all worked, uh, it all paid off uh, this this past Saturday, man, you you know, you look back at it and it's like, man, we're, we're champs. You know, yeah. nobody can take it from us. Um, nobody can tell us anything different. No, they can never take that away from you. And, you know, I don't think people realize – how hard it is alone just to win one football game like i definitely believe in the in i mean you guys know me like hey you work your butt off all week you get the dub mm -hmm. enjoy that dub 24 hour roll enjoy that dub move on to the next game when it's time to move on to the next game but to win a football game at the collegiate level is difficult i mean other colleges their standard isn't like fresno states it's their standard is to try to go 500 like this season, it was if we didn't win the mount, it's Mountain West champs are bust when pretty much. Bust. And I mean, you all y'all could agree with that. But I'm glad you guys got the opportunity to do it. And I had no doubt you'd capitalize. And and crop, I'm I'm happy that you had the opportunity, especially being from the valley. You know, I know the Sanger Bangers are tuning in right now. Oh, God. And uh, I'm glad you got that. Don't look at me. Eat up, <laughs> Evan Williams. <clears throat> Let's talk about it. Missed what four games this year? Five games this year? Yeah, like four and a half. I yeah. Guess. Yeah, the USC one and then four or more after that. 
it was sickening uh, watching some of the fellows go down throughout the season. Yours was one of them, especially. And I know there was a conversation at one point, like, "Hey, he ain't coming back this year." Who's that? At? I don't know. I, I just see rumors yeah, on the street. Me for sure. And uh, I know we've had Dervos Deli since then, and mm-hmm. we had a nice little recap of that. But talk about what it was like to like, hey, okay, we got that first win after that little losing streak. To <laughs> we did the damn thing, mm. stuck to our stuck to our goals, came together and won this ship. Well, I mean, you know, when you're you're at the bottom, um, at that one and four mark, you know, we we had no room for error. Um, I think I can speak for the guys. Um, I mean, we were on our last leg, and we knew that we still had our goals in front of us, but, you know, we would have to be perfect. And uh, so you saw people, you know, just kind of bringing that intensity to practice. Uh, that, I mean, it was it was do or die time the, the whole time. Uh, yeah. You know, those, those next, whatever, eight weeks, um, we knew we had to be flawless. And so every time in practice, you see guys, you know, bringing it. Um, going all out and um i mean shit it was do or die mentality and uh you know each week uh gain confidence in the in the guy next to you and shit we got that thing done you know the deal got that thing Quav, you mentioned that you know we think about the goat you think about like the goats in sports and this is to like this is to everybody here like you do have to have rings to be considered a goat at the end of the day. Who does that make? I mean, if Tom Brady has the he does he has the most rings right now out of football. Is he the solidified no question goat football player of all time? Almost definitely. Um, I mean, I would say I mean everything that he's done as a as a player. You know, coming from you know being uh, what do they call it? Last pick in the draft. Mr. Irrelevant. Yeah, Mr. Irrelevant. Mr. Irrelevant. I mean, was he first you know, just things like round. that. Yeah. Uh, seventh round. Seventh, what? Yeah, seventh it was round. very late, yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> I think, you know, everything that he's done in his career, um, you know, what he has, seven rings. Um, I think that, I mean, definitely. Speaks for itself. For sure. Seven? Him. Oh, shit. He got seven him. rings and damn near ruined his family. <laughs> to chase him out, he does not care. He's, he's trying to live that bachelor life. Bro. Dude, I mean. It's a passion, man. You got to have kidding. a passion for this game. That's what I'm saying. I'm not even getting capped. Like, that man traded a ring in hoping to get another one damn near. Yeah, and. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> damn near. And, uh, so, he's the GOAT. I mean, who's the GOAT of all time sports, though? Is it Tom Brady? Sports. A sports. Oh, sports. Jeez. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's not LeBron James. LeBron. It's not LeBron. Is it, it's it's not LeBron, LeBron is better than lot. Tom Brady. It's LeBron James. It's a lot. Like you got to think about it. What about I mean, you? Got you got Tiger. I'm saying you got to throw Tiger Woods in there. It's a lot of you got people like Dynasty. Michael Phelps, yeah. You're saying both dominated the Olympics. That's like the best Brian, of any Tom country Brady. ever. Yeah. Uh, Depends how you stopping. categorize. I'm stopping. Dak Prescott. What are you <laughs> talking about? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah <laughs> Freezing cold takes right there. Hey. You have a lot. I mean, Michael Phelps. I mean, yeah, you know, yeah. everything that he's done Damn. for this country. Yeah, Gold medals. Um, I mean, you you guys saying Usain Bolt kind of makes me think, like, no one's catching him. That's what I said. No, being the best <laughs> of any country, like, to pull out just their most elite athlete, and then he's like, nah, I'm better than you for 16 years. Yeah. Like, that's a long time I feel like it depends How you categorize it But for sure Cause you gotta think about Every sport You know what I'm saying Every it's sport tough, though. Serena Williams It's a lot of people That a you lot can, of people. You know Say that too Well there's goats All over this room Fellas I appreciate you Coming on Bring the juice We'll be sure to uh, Follow you in your NFL journeys First of all Let's go get this win In this bowl game Of for course sure. Get you another ring Absolutely Love that jewelry mm-hmm. And uh, we'll be in touch On bring the juice Coming up next Some more Fresno State football players mm-hmm. All right, next up. Uh, we got Zane, EB, and Mac. Let me sit right here. I'll sit right here. Huh? I'll sit right next to you. I'll stand. Book. Book. You know what I'm saying? Jake. What are we at? How long is that? She's going to get real quick, boy. Money. Perfect. <laughs> is the is everything we're good? We're good? <laughs> All right. This is good. This is organic. This is organic. Look, having a great time. All right. Momentum's high. Uh, before we continue, got to give a quick ad shout out to the uh, 
American pistachio growers. If you want to perform like the pros, eat your pistachios, kids. Uh, you guys are Mountain West champs. Y'all eat pistachios ever here and there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. A little bit. Love that. Great. That's great. Yeah. That's gritty. That's disgusting. Yeah, I like that. I like can't that. hate it until you try it. It's nasty. Yeah. It's like it? a lot of things. It's like a lot of things. You know what sucks? What do the you don't fake Cheerios eat? Honey scooters. Honey scooters. They Terrible. suck. You don't need to... Uh, See? What? Honey scooters? All right, hold up. Real quick. Hang on. Let's just do a quick intro. Of course, I'm your host, Frank Delano. Who we got? Yeah. Mac Delano, wide receiver. <laughs> Call me Mac. Eric Brooks, uh, number three. Call me EB from the IE. You know what time it is. <laughs> Uh, Zane Poe receiver It's my last year man Man you're making me sad now <laughs> Alright let's go back To these honey scooters Real quick Alright What's there to talk about <laughs> what's, wrong, like what's wrong with Cheerios They don't have them In the it's trainer not like, even like in a, the, It's in the oh, nutrition no, 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 no. Like, I'm not just going to buy them like, Oh no yeah, yeah They better than Cheerios though. Well you know There's some things That's That are like that But it's in the training room like, I just go in there And get it to eat real quick You know what I'm saying It's not like I just no. go buy them None of them have had them If it was Cheerios Nobody would touch them Yeah Alright Whatever. One either. <laughs> what are you talking about? <coughs> if they was you're gonna take those over Honey Nut Cheerios? Yeah. All right, we well, all could next subject have a noodle fight over that. Zane, brother, <laughs> let's talk about one of your milestones this year that I think a lot of fans listening to this won't forget. That San Diego State game. Talk to me about the top play of that game. Cause you had a few good ones in there. Yeah, there was First of all, I like the all blue. Do we like the all blue? Love all blue. It's raw. I hope we wear that again. I'm not. Gonna I don't lie. think you could wear it with uh, like you can't wear it against like Nevada or Utah State. That's already wear, blue. I hope we wear it in the bowl game. When we wore the red helmets with the blue, blue in the Vegas pool. Like, I looked hard. Yeah. Yeah. I looked hard. You could really swag like, that out. But I like the blue helmets. Though. No, like, the blue helmets is crispy. Blue helmets are crispy. And Washington State's red, so I can see that. Yeah, yeah. I feel like they can go all red. We can go all blue. Zane, my bad. Go ahead. Best play of that game from your perspective. What was the most critical play in that game? What was the hardest? Oh, oh, damn, I got that one moment. I mean, there's two. I think team-wise, the onside kick recovery. Yeah, that was ballsy. That's be one of them. And then Shout out D. Lynch. the free play on the radar play. When Jake threw it up top to me, you know, go up. Went up top him. Yeah. 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 That was a little boy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that always feels good, though. And how about that touchdown in the championship game? Uh, I mean, that's huge. You know, it was at a nice point in the game. Give us some more, more momentum. Right. Uh, felt good. Caught him off guard a little bit. Mm. Snapped the post off. Yeah, I saw that. Nice little touchdown on the Smurf turf. Yeah. EB, yo, you had some great games this year. Definitely broke out. I saw a nice little USC stiff arm, little <laughs> oh, yeah. some little, yeah. little boy, somebody. Uh, talk to me just about you know that locker room feeling after the game itself. Uh, which game? The championship game. Championship game. Oh. I don't give a shit about the other what? games. Hey, <laughs> can't say a lot of that stuff on camera. Yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We got the great, editing feature, but a hey, great feeling though. Yeah, like after like all the work you put in since January. Right. Everyone knows that. It's not just a a single day thing. I mean, it's a whole, it's a year round process. Yeah. So actually, a lot of people don't understand that. Well, it's a year round process. Because what do you guys I mean, probably report back? January what? Fifteenth? Don't yeah, know. Mid, I'm mid, thinking mid about January, that. Mid January. Mid January. That's what I'm saying. Um, start winter workouts. Um, you know, that's just running and lifting. Then you get to the spring. Um, spring practice still uh still got a couple lifts in there. Um, then you go straight into summer workouts after a little like three week break. Um, and then right after summer workouts, you straight into fall camp. Fall right. camp leads into the season. So, I mean, it's literally you get a, you know what I'm saying, a couple of weeks, couple of months off. Yeah, um, days at a time. Nothing yeah. crazy. But, I mean, yeah. you talk about week after week, like practice, treatment, school, meetings. It's just to see it all pay off like that. Yeah. It's a great feeling. Absolutely. And, I mean, winning's sure shit more fun than losing. Yeah. So, uh, it makes it – I mean, we – People in this room, we part of really good teams and teams that aren't as great. And when you end it like this, it makes it damn good. You guys still got the LA Bowl coming mm -hmm. up. Got to go get that dub. Mac, I'm going to sling it to you. First of all, you got your bowl game mustache on already. Can we get a zoom in on that? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's a little crispy. But uh, you had a great year, man, so far. Finishing strong, coming up, hopefully. But let's talk about that uh, punt return by Nico. I know that you and we'll have Stephen Comstock on in a little bit, but you guys were kind of part of the front of that convoy. Was there a lot of juice on that play? I mean, it got me fired up. Yeah, I think 
all week we were talking that if we just get the pitch to hit, that it's going to go off. So I'm glad we got that uh, pitch to hit. And I mean, going through it, uh, me and Steve were talking after that. <laughs> And the bomb, yeah, the bomb went off. The bomb went off. Uh, no, but this is all. This is all. This is all works for Coach Baxter. Yeah. Talk to me about your relationship with Coach Baxter. Oh, they're tight. Oh, hey, that's his. That's his. That's his number one. That's his number one player right there, for real. Right there. Hey, man. Hey, no, hey, it takes okay. you to the league. I'll tell you hey. that much. Yeah, hey Baxter now, no, he, hey, yeah, no, no hate. Coach Baxter, he's a, he's a good coach and he's smart and that's what uh, <laughs> he gave. I think this year, honestly, he gave our special teams and our whole team a lot of confidence that special teams is a huge part, uh, part of the game. So that's why I think uh, we dominated a lot this year on special teams. A lot of the other teams because of what like the confidence he gave us and how important it is. In the game, it's definitely so. a three phase game. There's definitely yeah. momentum shifts. I mean, you guys had a couple block punts. That those punt returns in some of those games definitely made the momentum go. I'll say, as a fan who was chilling, when you guys took when they cribbed that, they knocked the wind out of Boise. They were just yeah. like, oh shit, we're ass. So it was all it was all bad on their end side of things. But I'm saying like they definitely. It changes games, and we've been on the other side of that coin too, where somebody houses one against us, where they run a fake kick, and it's like, damn, <laughs> damn, yep. the, the, no juice, yeah. and it's tough. But you got the it, you got the momentum on your side. You got Baxter. You guys are doing great. You guys all got some rings now. What do you want this next ring to look like? I need some VDs like, uh, in there. Like the Rams. <laughs> Some, some what? Yes, diamonds in it. Odell, Odell just came out with a video. So you want the one where like opens up type? Yeah. I'm in, bro. Real diamonds. Well, real diamonds too. And throw some gold on it. Gold. So you want gold? I need a gold ring. Okay, let's start. If you had to pick one thing, what would it be? Gold ring. To add to the ring? No, not add. Like like gold ring. If Tedford came around and everyone got to vote on a piece of paper, name one thing you want in this diamonds. gold ring. Gold. You want diamonds? Yeah. Real VV, like VV they all got diamonds. No, the real, real, like they're real enough. Enough ain't real enough. I need them real. <laughs> I mean, they're also free ninety nine for us. <laughs> That's how they supposed. So you to want be them to be gold? I want a gold. I got yeah. silver. I got black. Let me get a gold. Yeah. Is this five for you? It's five. You, you could. Bowl game would be like, six. You could get six. What fingers do you got right now? All of them. So this next one's what thumb? I have a thumb, yeah. So you're going thumb. And then what do you do for I your sixth? I go thumb. That might look a little weird. No, but then you could go one of these. No, because he has short thumbs. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Let me see your thumbs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, there's a little standard. Those are standard. Some regular thumb. I got big hands. Short thumbs? I guess. Malik's a hand doctor over here. We're about yeah. to get him on. Okay, what else? What kind of cigars do they have in the locker room? I saw. I have a great picture of Coach Tedford smoking one. I, don't know, I had pops for me four of them uh, the night before. Confidence. Yeah, confidence. Ev. I don't know. I just got handed one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They weren't Cubans though. Couldn't yeah. tell you. I'm not. I'm not all into that stuff. Yeah. That was my first time. Cigars that was your fine. first cigar. Yeah. Your first cigar ever was yeah. a championship <laughs> cigar. That's yeah. lit. That's a great story, bro. Yeah. I yeah. hope you smoke cigars for a long time and you're like, I got hooked on this shit off of winning. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? <laughs> what you got, Crop? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fellas, I appreciate you. Anything you want to say real quick before I go on to the next Mountain West Champs? Uh, nah, man. Just shout out to IE. You know what I'm saying? All my, all my, bo all my boys back there, you know what I'm saying? Y'all listening. Shout out, y'all. Hey, y'all from that area going to the LA Bowl. You guys expecting a big turnout? Yeah, yeah for sure. How many people you produce in EB? Uh, I couldn't even tell you, man. Over 50? Nah, it was over 50 for the SC game, though. Oh. But for the bowl game, I'd probably say like holidays, 20, like 20 something, maybe. Saying what you think? Probably around 50. A lot of friends, family coming from back home. Last one, last one. Last, last one, best game. one. Yeah. There'll be a lot of people there, though. Mac, anything? No. Let's keep winning, boys. <laughs> oh, I love it. On to the next ones. Guys, appreciate you. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. All right, next up. 
Steve, Ray, and Perales. Jake, we got anything right there? Is anybody going or anything? What was that one? My brother. Let's show. Yeah. Who the fuck is this guy? What's up? Uh, all right. Here we go. Uh, before we start this next segment, I want to give another quick shout out to Dervos Deli. Shout out to Dervos Deli. Uh, they have the crispiest chicken sandwich in the 559. A lot of these fellows have been there. Check out Dervos. They are uh, elite. Juicy chicken. As you know, I'm your host, Frank Delano. Over here, we got the, uh, the old Hurt guy. Yeah, David Perales, number 99. Uh, Steven Comstock, number 22. I play DB. Uh, Ray Powell, thank you. Number eighty-seven, <laughs> senior tight end. Hey, say with some chest, boys. Talking to the mic. Yes, sir. There you go. All right, so let's go around the horn quick. Paralysis, you've been hurt, man. You battled. You did your thing. Talk to me, like you don't gotta give me the exact diagnosis, but like, are you, were you in, were you hurting? Oh yeah, for sure. I'd, I'd just say, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be fine for this week. So, um, had a high ankle sprain. And That's gritty ankle sprain, and uh, you know just. Work my butt off all week, try to get back to the championship game. And I couldn't play how I wanted, but, uh, you know, I just went out there and gave them all. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, just the fact that you were out there, it made them have to think twice about what was going down on the whole thing. And it was evident you were a part of their game plan. So, it shit worked. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, but, you know, the guys on defense, they stepped up. So, I mean, regardless, we got it done. I'd love to hear it. Comstock, talk to me. <clears throat> What's up, man? First time I'll bring the juice. You're a big juice guy. Big juice guy. Was there since talking the to the microphone? Huh? Was there since the beginning, huh? Yeah, back in a uh, long time with Coach Ward and, and all that stuff. So that was pretty fun. Comstock, I already asked Mac this. Talk to me about the importance of that punt return in the championship itself. Uh, you had a nice little, you had a nice little shove at the end there. Yeah, yeah, nice little. Yeah, definitely, oh, definitely pointed out. Little boyed him. A little bit, yeah. Okay, had to, but uh, no, all week we we knew that was happening. Uh, our special teams meetings are pretty cool because. We pretty much know everything that can happen during the game. So, uh, like Coach said, bring the uh, bring the wall to the ball, and let that thing go off. So, it's pretty fun. Ray, what's up, man? First of all, shout out to Ray, Jake. We're gonna do a clip in here. Ray, uh, recently engaged man. Yeah. Also happened to be wearing a Bring the Juice headband when it went down. So. Uh, Hey, it's free hey. advertising, man. Yeah, yeah. I, something. I might have to like send you a really nice wedding gift, like a nice bring the juice package that. or something like that. Ray, you had a great year this year, man. What's your uh, what's your vibes going through the emotions of coming through Fresno State, winning the ship with the fellas after some downs, but then ended up on some ups. Uh, I don't think I could have ended my last year any other way. I think being here the first three seasons, not making it, and then you're in your last season and you just win it all, uh, no better feeling. Talk to me, fellas, about, you know, what makes Jeff Tedford so great? That's a good one. There's a whole lot of things that make him. Give me some bullet points, rip them off. Hold the rope. Hold the rope. He just, I think he cares about his players a lot more than uh, like a lot of coaches in the country have uh, take care of their players, I guess. I would agree. I think that some coaches are CEOs of companies and versus other coaches are leaders amongst young yeah. men. Yeah, most definitely. And, you know, not to get too far deep into it, but I think that there's a lot of different forms of leadership you could have in life. And some leaders... You got to talk all the time. Some leaders, they lead from the back and they're quiet. But one thing all leaders do, and I think you guys can attest to this with Coach Tedford, is when it's time to do the right thing or pull your weight or be the guy who's at the front when the fist fight's about to go down, he is that dude. And you got to appreciate that and respect that in that man. Yeah. I think and, attention to detail, his attention to detail is unreal. It's one I used to play quarterback, and I remember sitting in the back kind of going through the reads. Mm. And he analyzes every little thing. I, I got in trouble from – I wasn't even in on the play, and I wasn't paying attention going through my read. And he was watching the film and kind of got on me. He was like, hey, man, you need to be paying attention to get a mental, rep, mental yeah. rep. So that's huge. Don't be a dumbass. That's a good, that's yes, a good lesson absolutely. to learn. Ray. <laughs> <laughs> so 
I'm talking about Teddy, man. Talk to me. What's, what has Jeff Tedford done for your uh, life? I think he did. Oh, for my life? Sure. Let's talk about it, bro. I mean, uh, you just proposed on his 50-yard line, so. Yeah, I mean, I, I had to ask him for permission, so yeah. he gave me the go-ahead on that. But How did that go down? Can I? Can you Can you give us some insight on that? Is that like asking sure. like a father for a hand in marriage almost type? No, no, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> No, nah, I just went into his office and. <laughs> hey, I'm the. Yeah, I'm, I wild. did it too, and it's that's a that's a pretty intense moment. I mean, I really only asked him just to make sure, like. It's I out of respect. Want, it's out of respect. Well, that I didn't want to take any distractions away from the game. Like that's why I kind of waited till after the game to do it, just because like if I did it before and some didn't go right, I didn't want to be like part of the reason why people weren't focused and. No, I respect stuff that. Like that, so just. I mean, I think as far as for the team, he's done a good job at keeping us all together. I think when we're we're at our lowest point we lost to UConn and stuff like he didn't point the finger at any certain position group he just said like we all got to get better and I think he does a really good job with that I freaking love to hear it fellas anything you want to say before I go on to the next group two time champ let's go oh my God. <laughs> two time champ shout out Merced man Wow. A lot of hometown shout outs today. A lot of hometown shout outs. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys. All right. Malik, let's go. Cam, let's go. Who's going to go twice? Check, check, check. Who wants to go again? Zane, you keep hitting this motherfucker. You're gonna fuck up. Come on, Come on you got the house. Yeah, you be right here. What I'm saying, right here in the building, man. Yes, sir. Hey, 106. Yes, sir. 106. Hey, this 106. This 106 is two right here. 106 in the building, man. Y'all say what's up. Well, y'all. All Wait, together. You're not from 106, though, are you? Apartment number. You're from 813. No, no, no. Apartment, nah, apartment number. Apartment, apartment number. Apartment number. Oh, did you guys all live together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. Man, what a household, huh? <laughs> what a household. Some Powerhouse. names in there. Powerhouse. I want. I'm a. Okay, I got some names in there. All right. <laughs> Before we roll, I got Eric Brooks back on. Malik Shirai, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the building. Deuce, deuce. Run it back. <coughs> Ilya, brother. Ilya, <laughs> brother. Cal. 20. Top. Uh, defensive MVP, is that correct? Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's get it. All right, let's talk about it real quick. So, y'all are roommates. Yeah. Yeah. What does your fridge look like? Man, man, I'm talking stack pack <laughs> with snacks. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, my side a little empty. I be eating out a lot, but you know what I'm saying. Got the, ne the necessities. What's in a there. necessity? Milk. Two percent. Two percent. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, bacon, sausage. Yeah. Uh, some more sausage. All the meats. Yeah. <laughs> you got the um, the Brita uh, water yeah. filter. Yeah. You want a water filter? Good in the, in the Brita? <laughs> ah, yes, yeah, sir. In good the Brita. Brita. Yeah. Man, them scholar checks must be hitting. Man. No cap. Uh, then we got occasional glizzies here and there. All um, the meats. <laughs> I'm not a glizzy guy. Are you a glizzy guzzler? I ain't either. Um, I prefer glizzy king, but we can we can go there. <laughs> we can go there. I love it. Malik, let's talk about your role this year, stepping up. I mean, you had a couple big old breakout runs this year. Talking your... You're shit too, which yeah, I appreciate. Yeah. Of course. But you're holding it down for the boys. You're holding down the RB room. Mm. Mims is gone. He's the the old head in the room. Sorry, Mimsy. And now you got yeah. Malik there. Yeah. What's 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 the future of Malik? Uh, it's big. I'm gonna say it's, it's put them shades on because it's gonna get bright. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh. You know I'm just gonna keep doing me. Shit, keep doing me. Keep elevating. Yeah. And uh, you know, hopefully I could you know get close to what you know. What I'm saying, big bro, Mims did over there. Big bro, Mims. I big love bro, to see it. Crazy. Cam, I have a quote real quick <laughs> from your post game. They wrote us off, but we didn't write back. Talk to me about it, Cam. You had a hell of a game. Two picks. Perseverance. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, basically, man, we went one and four. You feel me? Everybody was down, and I could sense that. So, I felt like we had, we needed to shake back. And that San, after San Jose, I been called that we was going to do this. I been called that. I been called that we was going to so, win this championship. After that San Jose, because, you know, it's the, the – uh, damn. The train, the train fell on the tracks then. After that win, my boy Logan went out there and balled, did his thing. Everybody just balling and kept that train rolling. My boy Jake shut back, Evan shut back. 
feel me? Unicorn. Train still rolling. Still rolling. Mm -hmm. Championship game, boys. Them boys ain't see me last time. Hmm. Hmm. Let them know, Cam. Hmm. Let them know, Cam. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Come on now. Man, they had wrote us off one and four. They was writing us off. Like, we ain't right back. No cap. <laughs> we ain't need to. Right back. Ain't need really. to. I love it. Being from, you know, experiencing your first championship game itself, you were fired up in that post game interview. We listened to it before you got here. It got me fired up. I love that type of shit. I saw that your fan was at Buffalo Wild Wings going crazy, 813. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Like Talk to me about it. Talk to me about that. <laughs> so, before every game, I call my mom, like, in the locker room before we walk out for the last time. I call her, and she told me that um, everybody was at Buffalo Wild Wings, and I was, like, I was telling them, like, watch out, like, this go be the one. This go be the game I'm really finna turn up yeah and i was telling leak that the night before no i told cap. him the night before i'm like watch i have like I, he said three i told him i was gonna have three he lucky i dropped that on me and then he I dropped one that's what's crazy I dropped it but um you you called you were gonna have three nah, but you only i had called two. it i called it he said no i'm feeling like tomorrow i'm feeling like three books yeah three books yeah <laughs> books is translation for interceptions <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 three books but um yeah, my fam, they was at Buffalo Wild Wings. I told them, like, I'm finna turn up. Yeah. And then two picks later, you feel me? I press conference. That's it. They a, had to shout them out. That's a dub, baby. Oh, that's God. a dub. They had to shout them out for sure. All right. I freaking love it. Talk to me now. Okay, so championship's done. About to get sized for this rings going in this LA Bowl. What's the vibes? We think it's some good gifts. We're playing Wazoo. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking, like, you know, second year of the LA Bowl, they got to drop yeah. some heat. They like, for sure increased from last year because they, you know, had some, they had to iron some things out. Yeah. I heard that, like, maybe the things weren't, you know, maybe the travel wasn't that great last year. Mm -hmm. Insights from Justin Rice, who, you know, played in it last year. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think gifts, though. I think you guys are going to be pretty balling. I hope so, too. Are you the type, Malik, who spends all of his tickets on one big thing or do you like to disperse them out to uh, get a few little things so it depends what the selection is looking like but i'll probably go if not tier four i'll probably try to get like a tier four mm. and then probably like a little small gift yeah you know what i'm saying i don't i want to walk out with a little like I, you know what i'm saying i stole you were shopping yeah, yeah, yeah you know yeah, what i'm yeah. saying like i was shopping i don't walk out there one thing yeah know? yeah but if there's something crazy on there like a P5 or something You know what I'm saying I'll So you would spend it. everything For a, a PlayStation 5 Yeah P5 Not Xbox though Like grow up <laughs> <laughs> P5 EB what's your What's your What's the if, What would you put All your tickets in for What's the gift All my tickets uh, Ken what about uh, you Fellas what do you got Come on I don't know. A like, nice Traeger barbecue, it's be like a, crazy, a good like, one. Hell no. Nah. It's got to be something crazy because, like, most of the gifts is, like, you know what I'm saying? Lenders and, like, yeah. crock pots and stuff like that. Like, you got to find one gift that you really like and then spend, like, your last point or whatever on. Like like a portable charger, speak, whatever they got Portable left. charger. Yeah, whatever they got left. I mean, Ma'am, you've been to a couple bowl games. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I have been. And it's probably, like, the best thing we've had is either, like, some ear pods or, like... Yeah. The, uh, I got a Yeti I still use to this day. Like, Yetis, uh, ear pods. Yeah. You know, yeah, they had a sound bar one year. They had a TV. Yeah, I got the sound yeah, bar. Yeah, I still got the sound bar. Watch. I'm just hoping Watch. they something crazy this year. And they need to put a Montclair puff on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I was gonna say hey, they need to put us on the show, man. Oh yeah, put man, us put us on, on the show. Yeah. I, on Jimmy Kimmel or yeah, I, I they gonna have Jimmy days, Fallon? Bro. No, Kimmel. 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 Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> It's Jimmy Neutron, bro. I don't know. <laughs> no, they're going to have some people on the show for sure. Man, it's going to be it's gonna be them, though. Yeah, and the MVP. It's going to be them. Yeah, and Cam. I mean, I guess. Okay, what do you think food-wise? Anything anything hot? Anything they good? They bring us Ruth Chris or something. No cap. I was just finna say. Who wants the Ruth Chris? That's yeah. your idea, man. We the champs. You know what I'm saying? Man, like, you are the like, champs. Come, yeah, like come with it. Yeah. No, they should treat you like champs. Like that. <laughs> what would you say? Okay, so what would you see? Okay, we're in the city of Fresno, right? 559. Mm -hmm. NIL is a thing. Yeah. What would you boys want as an NIL thing? Because you're the champs. Out here? Like local? Hell yeah, local. Because uh, this has pool right now. I don't know. Mm. A yeah, car deal? Car deal. Yeah, give me a little car sponsor. Car deal, car, car What do you deal. want, EB? Nice, like. I want to keep a stinger. Oh. Yeah. What if they what if they were like, yo, Acura's for the team? Would you would you slide it? I'll yeah, take, I'll take you. it. Brand new type? Hell no. I want a Tessie though. <laughs> Relatively? <laughs> like what you saying? Like 2020? 20, 20,000 20, miles and less. 2019? 
Acura? Nah, I don't know. What is hey, hey, this? Ain't my, deal my, or no deal my right kids now? Still running smooth, so yeah. it's got to be something <laughs> fire. Yeah. Okay, so what? What's the number one spot you would want to like? Be like, hey, I'm cool with doing commercials for these dudes. I'm cool with eating at the restaurant, repping their hat. What's a good spot? Besides, like my the Bring a Juice sponsors of Dervos Deli and the Pistachios. Kane. Canes, Canes. Canes yeah, give me Canes. 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 Canes, hit me up, man. Oh, oh God. I actually, I actually, I have yeah, a Canes Nessos. plug. You have I, have a Canes Canes plug? I, I have a Canes That's plug. A, ne- a Nessos, a Nessos, a Nessos smash. On, man. I got yeah. you. Yeah. What, what do you get from a Nessos? Pizza? Oh, uh, pe- I do the uh, Americano. The, yep. Yeah. Yeah. No. You like the ranch Pe- with, uh, with pepperoni and sausage? Yeah. <laughs> pepperoni and sausage, no. <laughs> <laughs> But but I don't like I don't like when they put the little ranch on my pizza for me. I like to do that myself. So put the ranch. On the side. <laughs> okay. But the next David, what about you? Five. The home of the anaconda burrito. What place? Hmm. I don't know, man. I'm a I'm a Don Pepe's type dude. I don't know if you heard of Rubio's before. You been there? Nah, uh, I'm out of the loop, bro. Uh, it's just a little, it's a little, it's a coastal grill. Um, but I be eating there. That shit, I like it. Okay, last question. This is for the boys. If I had to make one brand new, bring the juice apparel. What should it be? Mm-hmm. I got the hats. The, the new hat selections. I'm getting out there a little bit. The, the hoodies are crispy. Some mesh shorts. Mesh shorts. No, I was gonna say uh, that yeah. shorts like EEs. Yeah. Like the, like EEs. Yeah. Like Eric you can Emanuel's. for sure do some. Yeah. Then we'll be fire for sure. This little Butter. logo, little yeah. logo on the mm-hmm. corner. Logo on, Man, the right juice. On the, like, on the quad. Yeah, they just put the juice thing on there. That'd be fire. Right, like a little yeah. juice coming yeah, right out. On, like, right on the quad. Yes. Oh, that'd be hard. I'm not gonna lie. That'd be kind of fire. The ju- put, I'm saying, you can make, I'm you can make a couple juice box. I'm you thinking can. juice box tilted sideways inside yeah. of a circle with your with your logo on it. Three droplets coming out. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> no, that's smooth. Butter. I need Malik on my design but you, team. You can make a Butter. lot. You can make a lot. Thinking, you can make the one Mims had yeah. too with the juice right there. Okay, so one thing I like to do with bring juice. I like, I like to keep things affordable. What would, what would someone pay for that? 50. I was I was gonna say forty. Fifty? My hats are. I was, I was gonna say 40, 40, 40, 50. People pay forty for basketball shorts. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, 30, 30, 30, 40, 30, 30, 30 to forty. But, yeah. Yeah. It's gotta be quality. And I'm thinking I'm Mitchell thinking and S type. Yeah. I'm thinking go, yellow. People go rock with it. Yellow green. You have a lot yellow, of colors. Yellow. Shorts. Yellow with the green stripe, green, baby. Yeah. Green juice box. Juice no, no, no. Yeah. Pure, pure yellow. Whole thing yellow. Just yellow it out. Yep. Juice, juice box green. All right, I'm thinking about having. Let me know what you guys think about this too. This is a good group for this. I'm thinking about having a like a bring the juice photo shoot. I need more people posting it. Blah blah blah. I got Kyle Jusek been posting it. I had mm-hmm. Trey Lance send me a picture. That's Josh Allen's been repping. I got some dudes repping, but I need like a real nice like photographer. Photoshop. Like maybe Set we have a little party on the side, mm-hmm. and then we go out take some flicks later. Right. Juiced out. I think that'd be beneficial. Y'all be down for that? Oh yeah. All right, cool. Turn that joint to like a Soul Train line. Like everybody <laughs> go in there, like take your picture in the apparel. Next guy on, and we still partying while yeah. we're doing it. It'd be yeah. Wild. Damn near a music video no would be cap. ideal. No A music That's video would be ideal. That's what I'm saying. We need to find an artist. Okay, before I wrap it up, I'm gonna give you guys anything else you want to say real quick before I say I finish this off. Shout out to Crib, man. Oh God. I'm going crazy. Oh God, man. Shout out to 805, man. I'm going to see y'all boys soon, man. Can't wait for the parade. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Room 106, man. All my guys going crazy. Okay. Said it before. Shout out to IE. Always going to shout y'all boys out. Love y'all. Well, shout out to the dogs itself, the Mountain yes, West sir. champs. Freaking got a relationship with every single one of y'all. Love y'all. Proud of you guys. You got to finish the job. Left your legacy 100%. Hope you continue to support Bring the Juice like we support you. This has another, un, been another great episode of the Bring the Juice podcast yes, in the iHeartRadio studio. Brand new, fresh off the mic. Uh, get your piss hot, everybody. Fire me up. Go to the LA Bowl. Support these fellas. And we'll see you Hope next see time. See y'all there.